use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. credit where credit is due, and it is always due. It's great and wonderful when you have other people do great things for you, like the rice in the good jar. However, if it is not your own doing, by your own meaning, then you may receive the help and generosity of another, but feel as if it was a gift or a fluke. You won't be as powerful and capable as you would be if you were deliberately eliciting that help yourself or at least taking credit for it. When you receive benefits from others or fortunate situations and feel that it was the result of that outside event, you aren't recognizing your own power of resonance. That is labeling the situation as fate or chance. From that place you wait until they do something else for you again if that ever happened again. You give up and give away your own power. Instead, declare and label everything that happens that is good for you was due to your own personal resonant power. That while they may have given you those nice things or you might have won the lottery, it was because and is always because you are resonating and eliciting and attracting it from the universe. It was always you and by your power and not due to fate or the generosity of another anyway. When you take responsibility for the good things that are happening for you, you elicit even more. Every time something good happens, it is a confirmation and proof of your reality. The other person might have thought it was their idea to help you, but I guarantee you that it was always you that caused the resonant eliciting action that made it happen. It was your resonant force that gave them the idea in the first place and elicited their help. Give yourself power in your world by labeling everything as your creation because it actually is. If everything in your world is your creation, then you have domain over your entire world. Because no one can create in someone else's experience, no one can do you a favor unless you attract and elicit it from them. By the same token, no one can harm you unless you attract and elicit it from them either. Just to be clear on this point, you create and elicit from the universe as a whole. However, exactly what situations or through which people it will be elicited will be determined on the best and most direct method for it to be expressed. So while a particular person may have helped you or hurt you, it doesn't mean that you specifically elicited it from them. The result was only expressed through them. So if you win the lottery or get hit by a total stranger in traffic, it is the universe responding in a resonating way to your vibrational invitations and requests. On the video example in the chapter, Your God Power, on the placebo effect, one of the doctors always says to his aspirin before he takes them, quote, But I talk to my aspirin, and I tell him, you guys, you guys are the best aspirin in the whole world. And you guys are going to fix this headache, and I'm only going to have to take two of you rather than three of you. That's what I do. Unquote. Then he puts them in his mouth and swallows them. He is labeling them as powerful healers. By doing this, he starts with the meaning of the drug itself as a pain reliever and then boosts it with an additional label of powerful painkiller. Happiness and unhappiness is not a reward or a punishment. 
It's just A or B. If you think about A, you talk and walk A, because of the matchmaking and attracting power of resonance, you begin to see and become aware of A all over the place. A sees you and you attract A and soon you have A. You don't get A as a reward, nor do you end up with A as a punishment. You end up with A as a result of what you were thinking about and paying attention to. It's only a result. If you think about B, you talk and walk B, because of the matchmaking and attracting power of resonance, you begin to see and become aware of B all over the place. B sees you, you attract B, and soon you have B. You don't get B as a reward, nor do you end up with B as a punishment. You end up with B as a result of what you were thinking about and paying attention to. It's only a result. If you label yourself as happy and act happy and think happiness, you see it and eventually become it. Happiness is not your reward for thinking happy thoughts. It is your result of thinking happy thoughts. If you label yourself as unhappy, you act unhappy and think unhappy thoughts, you see unhappiness all over the place and eventually you become even more unhappy yourself. This is not a punishment for thinking unhappy thoughts. It is your result from it. He who hath shall hath more, and he who hath not, even that which he hath, shall be taken away. This is as old as the hills, but what does it mean? We've always known this. However, we usually state it in a few different ways. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer, or the better it gets, the better it gets, and also... The worse it gets, the worse it gets. All of these statements are factual and true. They are the result of the universal matchmaker, resonance, because these labels cause resonance to elicit events and situations that match them. Let's look at this old saying in detail so that we can really understand how resonance works. He who hath. This obviously means that this person has something of value, something worth having. But the most important question is, how do we know that he hath? It is useless to speak of the opinions of others, outsiders. It is only relevant if he is the one who knows that he hath. For him to think that he hath, and even to say that he hath, is to label himself as one who hath. From the place of feeling abundant in any way regarding anything, you resonate that quality and feeling to the universe. Since he is resonating at this high level, he causes all things that are similar and of value to him to resonate in such a way so that it not only catches his attention, but the opportunities find him. From that place, he is able to have more because Everywhere he looks, all he sees are opportunities, and they find him. However, if it were someone else who declared that he hath, it would in no way whatsoever influence his personal vibration and resonant quality. If he is thinking about red cars, someone else who's thinking about another color will in no way cause him to start noticing something else. He must be the one who thinks he hath in order for him to cause a resonance with the universe that will automatically bring to his attention great opportunities to hath more. Options Now activating the next video, play options. One moment, please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or, click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or, click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, 
special video options. Click on your choice, of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections. This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.